are you drowning in too many facts and stats and figures because you're putting together a presentation, a pitch, something, you're building a case for something and you want people to know that it's the right thing to do, that you are the right person, that you are very clever, that you know stuff, that you are on top of your stuff. If this is you, stop. You're overwhelming yourself and you're overwhelming everybody that you need to communicate with. And instead of getting their attention, they're switching off. So you're achieving the exact opposite thing to the thing you're setting out to do. I'm talking about this today because yesterday a client of mine was putting together, I mean, I've done this, you know, many of us, all of us do this. She was putting together a mini PhD in terms of the facts and stats and figures and accumulating information to do with why the business that she's building is important, why clients should care about it. But she was drowning in the information. She actually couldn't find the information because mm, she couldn't remember where she put stuff. She couldn't remember key points. And if she was going to share any of these things in the way that she was going about it, she wouldn't achieve the, the result that she wanted, which is to get people's attention, get them to associate her with the business that she's building, the solution that she's creating, and getting, getting clients to say, yes, I want you, I want your product, I want to work with you. All right, so the big thing is this. Facts are your friends. Facts are your best friends. People who work with me know that I say this all the time, and I tell people I work with to pull their fact friends into conversations, to lean on their fact friends, to use them. But it's about how many facts, which facts, and how to use them. And that's what we're diving into today. So how many, how many facts should you have? You should have between one and a maximum of three facts. No more, no more than three, one to three. And ideally, you know, People sometimes think, oh, I need three facts. No, you don't. You need a killer fact. And if you want to support it, absolutely, you can have that supportive fact. But you need to know at least three fantastic facts. Why? Because if people start asking you questions, which is a good thing, by the way, because it means that they're interested and they want to know more, you want to have those other facts front of mind, in your memory bank. You want to be able to Again, pull them into the conversation, lean on them. They are your best friends. Now, the woman I was working with yesterday, she had accumulated so much information, but she didn't have her three facts. So she hadn't identified the three killer facts that her clients would care about. And that's the big thing. It's not about facts. It's about which facts do you use? And what you do is this, you think, hmm, what is my client's biggest pain? What is my client's biggest struggle and challenge? That's the fact that you start with, that you have at the beginning, at the top of anything that you're putting out. You say, for example, we both know that, or as you know, or did you know, or whatever. The big killer fact right up there at the top, and then you want to say something that is explaining why this is important, but from the perspective of your client. You see, perspective, it's such an important word that I wrote it down. <laughs> perspective is important. It's not about you. It's about your client. It's about the person you want a yes from. You see, when you are pitching, selling, asking, you want a yes. You want a yes from somebody to say, oh, I'll buy from you. I'll subscribe to your service. I will give you time off. Yes, you can work from the beach. Whatever that thing is, you want a yes. So you want to build a case. So you want to have these killer facts that are relevant to the stakeholder, the person that you want a yes from. You want to start with the thing that is their biggest pain. The next sentence is, this is important because, and it's the perspective of the person that you're speaking with that you want a yes from. And then... You want to share how you are the solution. You are the savior. You are going to get rid of that pain, right? So killer fact, this is important because killer fact that is to do with their biggest pain, pain point. This is important because from the perspective of the stakeholder you want to yes from and 
what you can do about it. Ta-da! And it links back into what you're selling, providing, requesting. That's how you do it. Okay, so what you don't want to do is have lots of information that is going to overwhelm you, that's going to overwhelm people. You don't even go there. If people ask and they want to find out more, then absolutely you give them more. But if they don't want to ask, that's fine. That's supportive material that you can use another time. Now, I have people who are walking in here right now while I'm broadcasting live. So I'm saying these words so that they know that I am live with you and for them to depart quietly. Right, so what I want to say to you is, whoops, that I wrote you a little ditty to help you remember what we've just been going over. Here you go. Never more than three facts to be shared, no siree. Make that three words, yes, that'll do, so that they stick in your mind and their mind just like glue. What I'm talking about here is that you want people to associate you with these fantastic facts and to think you are the go-to person for that solution, for this big pain that I have. That's how you do it. Simplify, don't overwhelm. Fixate on one key fact. Okay. And by the way, if you have any questions around this, around how to communicate, how to choose the right words, facts, stats, how to structure what you want to communicate. If you have any, maybe experiences that you've had, frustrations, if you have anything like this, please get in touch. I'm happy to answer questions and to read your letters even. You know, so many people share things and I just think it's a great way for us all to, you know, learn from each other, yes, but actually just normalize the frustrations, the mistakes, the things that cost you your income, your best life, the yes that you want, the yes that you want from that key stakeholder. I'll see you next time. Here's to us all being a brilliant communicator. <laughs> Bye for now.